Good morning, folks. Let's begin by saying goodbye to a sizable plasma filament. The full extent of the particle and plasma interactions is better understood in 304 angstroms. It's not just a few little ropes dancing about. It was a calm day on our star. No large flashes, no filaments lifting away, not even many surface features of note. Top eruption threats are the thin plasma filaments facing Earth. We've got an even bigger one coming in on the south now. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we're seeing that indeed the X-ray flux shows no solid solar flares, and the sunspots are again to blame, small, near the limbs, and not developing too quickly. I believe I see the beginning of the coronal hole stream impact with this latest disruption to the solar wind. No magnetic storms yet, but let's monitor throughout the day as space weather definitely took a big slice at the electron flux. This will be the scene across the world tomorrow. Just before sunrise, you can see Mars and Venus conjoined, albeit at different heliospheric latitudes. That adds to the current Earth-facing coronal hole on the north and a sector boundary likely coming with this latest stream in the solar wind to elevate the quake watch once more. Yesterday, we took our first six-pointer since the USGS downgraded that one in New Zealand on the 24th and one above average in Washington State. Top story today is looking forward towards two eclipses in this month of September. The first one is on the 13th, a solar eclipse that will only be visible from the far south, Africa and Antarctica. But two weeks later, we'll have a lunar eclipse that is also the perigee full moon. This one will be visible across a wide area here, and this ultra-rare event sees the moon come to its closest point to Earth within one hour of the full moon, and it's a perfect alignment of the spheres for the eclipse. Three hurricanes threatening absolutely nobody in the Pacific, and one developing storm system slated to head at Mexico. Across to the Atlantic, where Fred faces unfavorable conditions and a northward track, We'll have some isolated severe storm possibilities returning here where the heat and moisture run up into the United States. We have a solid low pressure cell in northern Europe taking the top watches there. And we've also got those same two systems down under and at New Zealand, making a bit of a mess in the east. Featured members content today is the first half of last night's deeper look. It's about sea level rise and we expect to get your planetary geometry to you today. 45 days until observing the frontier, the leading edge of electric universe, solar science, and more is on tap in Pittsburgh, observing the frontier. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.